children, ladies and gentlemen. On the occasion of the 74th Independence Day celebrations, I extend the warm wishes for you to have a recommitment to the nation that was made independent by the tireless efforts of a large number of people. And in the last 74 years, India has emerged as a very formidable force to reckon with. Swadhinota Divosar Antarik Abhinandan Janalu Aru Logate Swadhinota Sangrami Sakoloi Pranam Jashilo. I believe that this independence, which is a result of a large number of sacrifices and struggles of our national heroes who gave us the freedom and it is in our hands to run our country. And the country's progress and revolutionary developments post independence in various services spanning from agriculture, industry, science and technology, information technology, employment, sports, infrastructure, capability and capacity building in multidimensional ways are really commendable. The advent of green and white, orange, pink, brown and several revolutions led by scientists with a strong role of CSIR has made our country very strong. Contributions of the country's largest scientific organization, CSIR, to the country's R&D and self-reliance with largest pool of scientists, engineers, technical and administrative work teams which work as a team is really commendable and their spirit has come to the fore in the last five months when COVID has struck. CSIR has really led this war on an unknown enemy in a very effective way and in this process by the vision of our honorable prime minister to have a self reliant india atmanirbhar bharat is really making a good strides and i am sure that we will be very effective in dealing with the covid crisis and come up with flying colors and we will be very proud that we are citizens of our country and the unity and diversity is one of the prime strengths of our country. The country has a huge lang linguistic diaspora and the cultures are very contrasting and the people are very different. But we are all united by our national dream to make the Bharat as an Atmanidhar Bharat. So when something like COVID strikes us, we have to come in very, very strong ways to see that we will be very effective in dealing with this crisis. And as the people at the highest levels of intellectual pyramid, the scientists, it is our responsibility to care for the 800 million underprivileged people in our country. CSIR NIST has taken many unique and trend-setting events in the last one year. And one of the most striking event is our students went to villages and then spent three days and touched every aspect of a village life, whether it is a school or a health center or an agriculturist. And they have visited every single family in a particular village. And this is a kind of a remarkable beginning 
which CSIR NIS has started, and I'm sure that this will go in a very, very long way to make the grassroots level involvement of CSIR to empower our country. The other features like we had a very excellent international seminar, ASTEC, which was organized in a very effective way and the quality of lectures and the type of events that took place in that conference has a truly international flavor. And several aspects were looked into before the COVID strikes and Gyantarang is an event where CSIR NIS has taken the leading role in again setting a trend for bringing all the ACSIR students for the first time in our country and made a spectacular event which is very rich not only in terms of science, the effective interaction in self uh, sustainable developmental goals and the videos that they have made and the cultural richness of the Northeast India in general and Assam in particular has been really outstanding and there was an overwhelming response and this has made CSIR needs as a very very important and an issue which takes a lead in students activities and there are quite a few things that has been done we have created more than 70,000 square feet of space in the last one year by reviving the pilot plants and then making the Steiner buildings uh, which are going to be operational and 2021 will have a 30 percent increase in our space and which is a remarkable event and I must congratulate all the scientists, administrative staff and civil engineering for taking it up very, very effectively. And another remarkable thing that has happened due to an all round support is that we are able to recruit 13 scientists, nine of them have joined in this COVID time and these people are really putting all their efforts into making this institute a institute of repute along with the able support of the scientists who are already there in the system. And we have a made a mark in Aroma Mission and Aroma Mission phase two, CSIR needs is going very, very strong and we also have a very strong contribution. We have a responsibility to make a very strong contribution in horticulture mission, which is going in a very big way, and herbal wellness, which is also going in a very strong way. And I'm extremely happy to tell you that in the last three months, we are able to identify about 60 acres of land for multi-locational trials and then make the aroma saplings in Rajapara and in Meghalaya and in Arunachal Pradesh. And I'm extremely happy that our Sinamora land is going to be a place where the herbal nursery, aroma saplings and a variety of research that we will do in this area we are able to have a very good place in the Sinamora land and our own campus has more than 35 acres of land which is dedicated to the research work in this agricultural field and this is a lab now which has over 100 acres of land for our experiments and then several hectares of land will be available with our contacts and I am very very sure that CSIR needs will play a very important role in making a huge contribution for the farmers welfare in India in general and Northeast India in particular. So once the COVID has struck, 
our people have done a large number of activities. I am very, very proud of this. Close to a thousand liters of sanitizer was made and distributed and consumed in the campus. And we are able to give this to various places, offices, our uh, district administration, police, Air Force, we have given, and we also have given it to some schools and in railway station, and a large number of requests have come from uh, other companies, oil companies, and we were very, very liberal in giving these sanitizer. And we also have made soaps and liquid soaps and more than 1.5 lakh masks were made by our women's team. And they have really done a remarkable job, which is also captured at a national level. And these were distributed to various people. And we are also doing research at fundamental level, how to use this uh, coatings with herbal formulations and uh, catalysis or polymers or other nano formulations and that is making a good progress but one of the remarkable things that has happened is a laboratory which did not have any experience in biomedical sciences have set up the covid testing lab and Everything was made from the scratch where a mechanical shed was renewed into a state of the art RT-PCR based COVID testing lab. And we are extremely proud that 17,500 samples were tested till now. This is a commendable feat, which is a result of a lot of enthusiastic support, not only from our scientists, our administration, finance, purchase, and the civil engineering. And it is really very, very pleasing to see that the dedication with which everybody comes together and brings strength to our scientists to carry out their work. And we also have formulated bioethical, biosafety committees and ICMR, regulations were being followed and we have a great uh, support from this district administration, state administration and NHM. And now CSIR NIST has a great capacity to work and do the testing. Fortunately, we may not be able to use these facilities because then I wish that the number of cases in COVID will come down and only a couple of days before we are also able to successfully establish this antibodies test and we are trying to do what type of a research that we can do in the infectious diseases like CRISPR based methods, genome editing and what are the different ways in which we can look at host pathogen interactions and other viral infections like dengue, chicken grunia, and what is the relationship between the COVID and other comorbidities and lifestyle disorders, metabolic diseases, and the facilities that we have created by investing close to 10 crore rupees with a strong supporter from our Director General and the whole CSIR team will be of great help in serving this nation in multifarious ways in dealing with the health in general and communicable diseases in particular. Because the laboratory has been working a lot on non-communicable diseases, but this decade we will have to be very, very careful with the communicable diseases. And I'm very, very happy that the Institute has risen to the occasion, to the nation's need and is able to work very effectively in the infectious diseases. And I'm extremely happy that a good team has been formed and we are trying to have lectures every week and see that 
how we can be a strong force to reckon with internationally in the infectious diseases. I always believe this idea that small minds discuss people, average minds discuss events, great minds discuss ideas. I feel that the idea that giving a summer research training program is a fantastic idea, which is almost not able to get any acceptance when we discuss with people. CSIR NIST has come up with this idea where we wanted to initially give training to 200 or 300 people. But we have applications from 16,000 people. It's almost impossible. We discuss with a large number of people and everybody says that it's impossible. And it is because of our team of 50 odd people in NIST, we made this impossible a possible. And I am extremely proud that CSIR NIST is able to come up in flying colors to make CSIR SRTP in five days. In five days, we got eight, uh, 16,000 applications. And currently, the number of views for our website is close to 9 lakhs, which is remarkable by any stretch of imagination. The CSIR SRTP channel was made. And this was not just a series of lectures. This, in addition to the eminent scientist lectures, which involved Hello, are you able to hear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Electrician competition, quiz competition, and a number of other events which amalgamates various branches of science and clearly strikes a point that we will have to go beyond different branches of science, which is fortuitously divided. There is nothing like chemistry, biology, or physics, or engineering. They all have to come together at a particular point of time. These differences between different branches of science will vanish. So, summer research training program of CSIR NIS is probably one of the very, very good ideas which was ever done by anybody in the world. I'm so confidently saying it because when I'm talking to the Royal Society President elect, they were just not able to accept how can you do such a thing in within one week? And the strong technical team with a highly dedicated people, 500 people working from seven o'clock in the morning till one o'clock in the night has made this possible. And it also reflects that where there's a will, there's a way. We have a strong will to do something for the nation and we have done it. And all of this could be done with the strong support of our Director General, Dr. Shekhar Mande. And another program which is of great importance is Bogjan Oil Explosion. Our geoscience team 
have done a fantastic job. They almost indulge in daredevil activity. Once, when there is a fire, they are taking pictures from 200 meters, 300 meters from there, and they wanted to erect their seismic stations there. And when they were struck up with flood, they have to take a boat to come to a safer place. And this really shows the great spirit of CSIR NIST. I am very, very proud of this extraordinarily high commitment that these people have shown in not only doing great science, but to show that they care for nothing when the nation wanted to get something from our scientists. I really was very much pleased and also a little bit tense that what will happen because these are all very, very dangerous things. And GSTD team is also involved in making a very important project where there is a first time there is a tunnel underneath the Brahmaputra River and our team is almost getting this particular project and this is another great contribution from the scientists to the society. Our Honorable Prime Minister and the Principal Scientific Advisor have thought about strengthening the computational drug discovery in our country and as a part of that, Drug Discovery Hackathon has started. And they tried with several people, but again, CSIR needs has come forward to provide the training for Drug Discovery Hackathon. This is an extraordinary effort by our people that they are able to continuously provide this support. Our technical team, I don't want to mention people here, but I have to mention one person, Devabrata Das, who has been a pillar of strength for the communication along with Kirod Buragoyen and many other people. Because without their strong support, we could not have started this program. There are people to work very hard, but the skill set is important and confidence is important. What we have done even in early March is uh, uh, not early March, since April, late March in April, we have created a COVID portal and all scientists in the institute, whoever is interested, they were invited to give a talk every day at 4 o'clock. So close to 30, 35 people have given talks and some of these talks were also available for the school children as a part of the Jigyasa program. And then we have this SRTP program, and then we have this COVID testing, which is going on, which has an involvement of about 70 to 80 people in the lab and another 40 people outside the lab. And there are quite a few activities that has taken place. And it is very, very important for us to be highly positive about what is happening. Negative people will always be there. They are there everywhere and their views will be spreading more vigorously than the positive people. But once the positive persons will try to speak and be confident about what they are doing, this negative forces will disappear. And we have every reason to be proud of our organization. And I have every reason to be extremely proud of the setup that we have. And we will be very focused. Our commitment is for our nation. If anybody comes in our way, we will not care because the country has got independence due to large number of sacrifices from eminent people. And it is our responsibility to actually raise up to the occasion and 
make this independent count. Selfish approaches, very, very small goals. What happens to me? What is my life is fine. But when it comes to an individual, a group is bigger than an individual. An institution is bigger than a group. A state is bigger than an institution and the nation is bigger than the state and the world is bigger than the nation. We are of this like Vasudhaika Kutumba. Now the whole world is under pandemic. And it is our responsibility to see that how we can provide solutions. If you want to provide solutions, you have to generate knowledge. Knowledge society is very important and we are in the land where for thousands of years people have looked at knowledge. Knowledge will come when you do a very, very concentrated effort, which is called tapas. Okay. I, I would like to bring you one uh, sloka from Sukti Ratnamanjari in Dhritiya Manjusha. Ekas tapo Tribhirganam Chadushpadam Panchasapta Krushis Seva Sangramam Bahuvirchavai. What does it mean? Ekas tapa. If you want to do tapas, you have to be alone. Dvirajai. If you want to do a chayam, if you want to do study, two people can come together. Tribhirganam. If you want to do ganam, three people are required. Chadushpadam. If you want to go somewhere, four people are required. Pancha Sapta Krushis Chaiva. If you want to do agriculture, five to seven people are required. Sangramam Bahuvirthavai. If you want to have a war, a large number of people are required. And when you are in a war, you have to have a discipline. When you are in a war, you should know who is your commander. There will be a plan. There will be a strategy. And there are a large number of people who are like army. And they will have to follow the instructions that are there in this war. So now the country is waging a war against the pandemic. And we have to give a lot of importance to the discipline. This is very, very important and we need to be very clear about it. But we are an intellectual society. We are people who are really trying to give solutions. An army soldier cannot provide a solution. For that, you need to have a tapas, generate the knowledge. So individually also, you have to have excellence. Excellence is usually individualist which is very important. So what I mean to say is CSIR is an organization where we have a clear mandate, which is very different from the mandate that is there for the universities. CSIR scientists have a commitment to the nation that they will have to work by their hands. When they have joined, they have signed an agreement that they will have to deliver this without any assistance. We cannot depend on contract workers. We cannot depend on other workers to make our minimal commitment that is given to the nation, especially in a very, very tough times. So I would like all the scientists to understand how important it is to be disciplined, following the rules, and try to understand the commitment to the nation. When we have a call, and when we have a clarity about the policies, the policies have to be strictly adhered to. This is important, because if everybody would like to take their own decisions, we will not be able to make any significant contribution to the nation. It is a responsibility for all of us to think about 
ideas are welcome discussions can take place however when there is a rule people have to follow that particular rule when they have an issue there are channels there are very very clearly laid out procedures and they will have to follow these procedures and if people are not following these procedures and they will take their own action it is the responsibility of the administration to chip in it is the responsibility of the senior scientists to come and try to rectify it because the commitment that we have made from csir is to the nation with this i sincerely request all of you that this great country which has become independent 74 years before has been subjected to a very tough situation just like any other country in the world this particular pandemic and when there is a great crisis there are problems there are frustrations there are psychological issues however if you are very carefully analyze the situation there are also opportunities we will now see what are the problems that we have in india why do we have to depend on china for every raw material how do you get the self reliance why do we have to have an education policy wherein the students will be very very enthusiastic to go to some foreign country and give their best there and when they come back to india we are not able to create a great ambience there are several questions that are there so we have to create an ambience of excellence and an institution which will make its contribution to its nation in a very very significant ways because i am very very proud to head this institution which has outstanding people people with great commitment people with great pride that they belong to csr nist and unless you have this atma sanman you cannot go towards atma nirbhar atma sanman is very very important and with these few words i once again thank all of you who have been working tirelessly to make this institute as a great institute and for the last 60 years the a large number of luminaries which led this institute to a great height and let us now resolve on this auspicious day of 15th august that when we reach our 75th year of independence we will really make india a proud nation because it has csir nees as one of its constituent with these few words i would like to thank all of you for patiently listening to me jai hind thank you very much